Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to have you in my channel once again. So it's your girl, Onyechi Vantaling Choma, and um, in today's tutorial, so I'll be teaching you how to make this face fascinator. You can see, you can wrap it to any occasion, okay? Be it burial, be it church wedding, and any occasion at all. So, so the materials let's... needed for this project. I have crinoline, and I have about two. One is by 36 inches and the other is about 50 inches okay so this one of 50 inches is for the rose then i have belt cap i have bias i have my millinery wire i have this alice band i made this i covered it with my akara fabric then um, if you are interested in learning how to make it i'll drop the link in the description box so you can watch if you're interested then i have my thumb so the first thing i'm going to do now is that i'm going to fold this millinery wire into two okay i'm folding it this way okay it should overlap each other then i tie you either tie or you use tape to you know tape it together but in the absence of my tape i'm going to tie so i have my thread cut out and it's about four Okay, all joints together, and I'm going to tie it this way. Then after that, I'll secure it and we'll proceed. So this is the crinoline and uh, the hot wire. I mean, and wire. Then I'm done tying it with my thread, as you can see. And then the next is to to stitch it to the crinoline, and I have. 36 inches of crinoline here, the one of 36 inches. So I'm going to, you know, the, this crinoline has two parts. This part have thread, while this other part doesn't have thread. So I'll make use of this other part without thread. Then I'll stitch it down to it with my needle and thread. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to secure the. I'm going to secure my stitches first so that it doesn't fray. Going to tie it here so that it doesn't you know lose you know crinoline has this big hole that if you're not careful it will lose so after securing it this is it i'll start stitching it down so this is it i'm going to put this inside then i go over to the next side So this is basically how I'm going to, you know, stitch until I get to the end. You stitch and you secure. So this is it. I'm going to, you know, continue stitching it just like that until I get to the end. And as you are doing, don't be, you know, dragging it. Just do it gently, okay? Do it gently. This is it. This is how it looks. So now I have excess here. So it's going to overlap. So I'll continue stitching. When I get to this place, I'll make it overlap, okay? I'll make it overlap this way then we continue okay so at this point I'm stitching the two edges together just like that so at this point I'm going to secure the stitches So after tying it, I'm going to cut out the excess thread. Then we continue to the next level. So this is my bias strip and um, I'm going to use it to cover these rough edges. Okay. So I'm going to apply gum on it. You'll be needing about 37 inches to be on the safe side. Okay. 
So I'm going to apply gum on it. So after applying gum, you start gumming. Okay? So I'm going to stick it now. Just like that. So I'm going to go off camera to, you know, finish it up. But this is basically how you gum. And make sure you apply gum on the two sides of the of the buyer strip. So that it will comb very well. Okay. You can see I'm done fixing my bias on it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to pull this the edges, okay? So there's a thread here, but if yours doesn't have a thread, feel free to use needle and thread to run through the edges, okay? So I'll be making use of this my thread to you know secure it. So I'll pull the two sides until it's well gathered. So after gathering it, I'm going to tie this point very firmly. I'm going to tie it multiple times. So after tying it, just you know, cut out the excess thread. So before we go to the next stage, I want to glue this part, okay, and stop it from fraying. So I'm going to apply my gum at the edge. So this gum will stop it from fraying and it will also make it to, you know, relax. So after this, I'm going to press it down. You allow it to dry before you press it down, rather. Then after that, you do the same to the other side, the back side, okay? So this is it. I'm applying gum at the inner part. To make it stick and to avoid it from you know fraying so after this I'm going to stick the two of them together so after gumming it the next thing I'm going to do now is to um, gather this inner parts you know there's a hole here so I'm going to eliminate this hole by tacking it together okay i'm going to tack it together first of all i'm going to secure this because the crinoline has big hole so that my thread will not pull so i take from this point then this other side and i stitch so after stitching it, I'm going to secure and cut out the excess thread. Okay, so you can you can see that I've already covered the hole there. So I'm going to stitch one more time before cutting out the before securing to cut out the excess thread. So this is it. The hole is you know covered already. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to get my second crinoline so for this crinoline i won't be making use of this thread so it's advisable you put pull it out because it's of no use so let me go ahead and pull it out so i'm done pulling it and um, what i have to do now is to form the rose before okay. i start stitching i want to you know iron it Okay, so I'll first fold into two and iron all the way down, okay? So I'm placing it this way to iron with my iron. So let me go over to my iron and 
iron it okay so this is my crinoline i folded it into two and i pinned it down in order to help me iron it very well so i have my piece of fabric here and um, it's wet already though let me put it inside water then squeeze out the excess water then i'm going to place it on this fabric on this um crinoline to iron so i'm using a low heat okay i'm using a low heat and this is how i would continue ironing until i get a very flat crinoline okay so let me do the rest of camera then i'll show you the final look this is how it looks after ironing you can see it's very flat so i'm going to get my tape now then measure like 10 inches okay measure like okay let me use 13 inches okay so this is it this is 13 inches so i'm going to fold this part into four and still iron okay so let me fold it then use my my pin to secure it this is what i have okay so now i'll first by start by you know securing this place so i'm going to tie this side so first of all i'm going to secure my thread so i'm passing it through this other end so that the thread will not pull that's just the essence though i have mentioned it severally in this video so after that i'm going to tie to tie again tie multiple times so if you enjoyed these tutorials please give it a thumbs up then if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do so subscribe to my channel please it takes nothing from you when you subscribe okay you don't pay to subscribe it's free just help me to grow okay so this is it so now I want to start gathering it and um, we have four parts here and this part is very neat while this other side have opening. So from this open side I would start you know um, stitching it. So when I stitch I remove the, the pin used in securing it. So and ensure that you are stitching the four of them. Okay. ensure that you are taking the four of them at once so when i get to where there is pin i remove the pin so when i get to the point where i marked 15 inches 13 inches rather i'll stop picking the four of them i'll just pick two so the two i'm picking is this two open side okay so make sure you tack from the two open sides except you want to have another design entirely then you can now do the other side so as i do i drag it then i continue like that so um ironing is optional there's another one i did and um I didn't iron and it came out fine too so you must not iron your crinoline but if you want it to look just like this particular one then you iron it okay so I'm leaving like one inch space here so that I can gather it and tie so leave like one inch space here then you gather your thread very well make sure you gather it very well and you can use more than 50 inches of crinoline you can make use of 60 or up to 70 it depends on what you want okay so now i'll start arranging the so this this 
particular edge is going inside okay it's going inside then I'll start arranging the the flower the rose rather so this one should be inside while I arrange the rose so this is what we have so I'm going to at this point now I'm going to gather this place just gather it then use this same thread to tie the end So after that, this is what I have. This is what I have. So I'm going to secure it just like that. I'm going to tie it. Make sure that this other side is inside. Okay. Just try your best to arrange your rows very well. So this is how it looks and if you want to have like two rows you can just you know shift it down look at what I did look at how it was initially then I just took like two strands then pushed it down and um, this is it I now have like two roses okay so this is basically how to make two roses and um, you can as well fix it on your Alice band and rocky however you want to so but let's continue with our training okay put everything together and um, i have my crown here i have my rose here and this is a felt cap so this felt cap is going to sit right inside this this um crown so i'm going to start stitching from there so i'm going to attach it at the center right from the center Okay. So you can also use molded fascinator for this. Take it to the center of this. You can decide to stitch the three of them at once. So but let me make this one firm before I put the the rose. Okay. So after stitching, I'm going to insert this rose there. You can also make use of gum, your candle wax gum to, you know, to join it. So make sure you attach it very well. Let it relax. Okay. So I'm done um, attaching the two of them. This is what I have. You can go ahead and fix any rows here. Just use your comb and attach the rows here. And I will do that at the end of the video. Uh, then the next thing I will do now is to attach my Alice band to the side where I want it. This fixed side, this um, rough side, I would like it to be at the back. Okay, so it's going to stay this way. So what I'm going to do now is that with my candle wax gun, okay, I'm going to um, attach it just like that. I'll put some um, wax here, then fix it. Okay, so after fixing it, I will get my wadding. So this is my wadding, and I think it should be like three by three inches or two by two inches, just very small. So I folded it into two to cut out this circle shape. Okay, this is it. So now I'm going to glue it to the back. So this is it. I've applied gum here. I'm going to take it down to this place to, you know, help hold it in place. Okay. So finally it's ready. You can, you know, 
compare it to church to any occasion of your choice. So thank you very much for watching this video. I highly appreciate you.